If you need help creating your own website, Good Insight has you covered. Go to them for all your website creation needs and they'll be able to hook you up with their easy to use interface, supportive staff, and while you're at it, get a 30 day free trial with this promo code. Enter it in when you're registering and you'll be able to get 30 days free. Hey guys, what is up? It's Dean Azor here. Today I'll be reviewing another Kickstarter campaign product. This is the Quick Wallet. Now this was designed by the Holton Design Group. So you can go to holtondesigns.com to check this out, or you can go to kickstarter.com, and I'll have a link for that in the description down below. This is called the Quick Wallet, and it's a one-handed RFID blocking wallet. Prices for this range from about 40 bucks to 100 bucks. There are several versions of this wallet. So there's a slate anno version, which is what you see right here. That's 40 bucks. They also have a copper version, a silver version, and then a 14 karat gold version. Those are all different prices and they come with two different military grade webbings. The webbing is the black thing you see right there. That's what's gonna hold your money and your credit cards. Now all these wallets come with two of them. They have a black and then polar white so you're gonna be able to mix it around and get some cool looks. But that's basically all about the pricing. You can go check that out in the description down below. I'll have that and you just click on the Kickstarter campaign, check out all those prices, get them before they're gone and that's basically everything for that. Now as I said this is RFID blocking and it is one handed so let's see if this wallet lives up to that title. So I'll start with kind of like a full tour of this wallet. So on the front that's really where you're going to hold your money at least that's where I prefer to hold my money and that's where the people in the video on the Kickstarter campaign hold their money. So I just hold all my bills right there. Now on the back which as you can see when I flip it around is basically where I hold all the credit cards. So when you take off this webbing you see a little hole here and that's a diamond cutout not only to make it lighter but you can also use that as a keychain holder so you can just put your keychain there and have your wallets attached to your keychain which is not bad and I think that's a pretty cool feature so as you can see it's really really thin even when you have that webbing on there it's still an incredibly thin wallet and I think that's one of the main reasons why this is such a freaking cool wallet it's just so thin nothing else compares to how thin this wallet is so putting money in here is very simple. All you have to do is just fold it into four parts and then take however many bills you have and stack them on top of each other. Now you can either do this one by one where you take all the bills and put them in one by one or just put them all on top of each other and slide them in. So that's very simple and then at the end of that process just take your hand or some hard surface and just slightly tap it against the wallet and make all those bills flush with the rest of the surface of the wallet. So the money in here is not going to fall out. Trust me, I've tested it. The money does not fall out. Neither do the bills. This military webbing is just just going to keep it all tight and compact and not going to let it get lost. You can apply the same process for putting your bills in here to putting cards in here. So basically, I have four cards right here, and I'm going to put them in. So four cards, count them on your fingers, whatever you want to do. So then you just put them in one by one or all at a time. Now, if you're the OCD kind of guy that wants to make sure all your cards are in place, put them in one at a time. If you want to just make sure they're all in and just go on and do whatever your business is and just get this over as quickly as possible, put them all on top of each other, stack them up, and just slide them in. It works also, and there's really no harm in doing either way. It's all fine. It's all going to work out. So that's really how you work this, and as you can see, it's already really thin. I mean, I've basically filmed this up with my average everyday carry for everything I carry in my normal wallet, and it's really thin. I mean, it's not much thicker than it was when it had nothing inside of it. Now on the left, you have a fossil wallet, and that wallet is one of my thinnest leather wallets, and it's a bifold, not even a trifold, it's a bifold. And it, as you can see, this quick wallet is still thinner, and that wallet was completely empty. This wallet is full with the average stuff I bring around town with me, and it's still thinner. So, I mean, this kind of beats out every other wallet in the same category of holding the amount of money that's in this right now. So, I mean, it, there's really no comparison. This is just a really thin wallet. Maybe this is in other schools, not just mine. I don't really know right now, but in the school I have, we have barcode scanners in the cafeteria, and on the student IDs, we have barcodes. So I can just slide that down with my finger in the cafeteria, scan the barcode, and then just slide it back up. I don't have to take the entire card out like other wallets would have to require and scan it. All I have to do is slide my finger down, and then I'm good to go. It's very convenient. So while I was at a restaurant, I had the idea to show you guys how would a normal person use their Quick Wallet to pay for something like their lunch. So you can just take the credit card out very simply. It's right on top. Now, if it wasn't on top, you might have to do a little bit more digging, but it's still a relatively fast process. Now, at the time I was filming this video, I was relatively inexperienced with the wallet. There's a little bit of a learning curve. It was only my second day using it, so that's why it's a little bit slower than you'd expect it to be. But otherwise, it's a pretty simple process. You get the credit card and the bills going, and it's just pretty fast. So this is the part of the video where I'm going to address the main purpose of this wallet, which is the one-handed aspect of it. Can you use it with one hand? My answer is sometimes. So the answer is sometimes because it depends on your experience with the wallet, 
what exactly you're dealing with, whether it be bills or credit cards, or how many of the credit cards or bills you're working with. If you're working with one bill, it's very simple. If you're working with two bills, it's slightly more complicated. If you're working with five bills, that's not exactly ideal. You're going to be spending a couple minutes just working that out there. Once again, that depends on your experience also. So at the time I was filming this video, I had about a couple days of experience. So a couple days of experience with a wallet is really nothing compared to how much experience you'd get by having this, this wallet for a couple months. Usually people have wallets for a couple months on end. So that's really why I could not get this to work with one hand as easily as it would with a person that uses this for a couple months. Now the one handed aspect of this is still there. I could still use it with one hand. It's just never going to be as fast as using two hands. Two hands is always superior to one hand. Just because this wallet can work with one hand doesn't mean you should use it with one hand. If you have the ability to use two hands, Please use two hands. You're just going to make yourself spend more time using one hand. I mean, I guess if you really want to, you can go ahead and use one hand, but there's really no point if you don't need to. In all honesty, I think this might be the best wallet I've ever used in my life. I mean, it makes a class 5 hoarder, I don't even know if that exists, look like the neatest person in the world. I mean, you could have such a bad mess going on in your normal wallet and then just put all your cards in here. It will make you look like you have so much OCD that you don't want to stop cleaning things. I mean, I'm serious right now. It makes me look so neat. I don't look neat. I mean, I'm not a neat person. And this makes me look neat. I mean, it's awesome. So it makes everything so organized. It's so simple to get stuff out of this wallet, pay somebody, put the money back in your wallet, and then go on your business. You don't want to spend so much time at the cashier. I mean, maybe they're a nice person or something, but you don't really want to spend all your time taking forever at the cash register, making some kind of really silly transaction take forever. I mean, this wallet, using this wallet has made me seen how much extra time I have to use buying stuff. I mean, in the past, it would usually take a long time. I'd have to tell the cashier, wait up, hold up, I gotta get this card out because it's in here and, you know, it's in my wallet. And that wallet is a place where things go to die and never be found. Anyways, so that's basically how this works. It's so simple. Two pieces. Another wallet that you'd find on the street. Not that you'd find a wallet on the street because we're not that lucky, but if you were to find a wallet on the street, it probably would have many components be very unorganized and really nothing compared to this now i know that the starting price of this is 40 bucks 40 bucks may be a lot to ask of somebody but if you think about it when you have something this simple works so well i mean i think it's definitely worth it you don't have to buy the 95 dollar gold plated version i mean you don't need to buy that you could just buy this slate anno version that i have right here and it will work fine you don't need to buy a super expensive version um, being honest if you want to buy the cheapest version which is still not incredibly cheap it's just cheap and it'll work for you it's not bad and i think if you buy this you're definitely going to see an increase in your ability to get on with things that don't matter like going to the cash register and spending forever and just doing stuff getting stuff done faster and possibly even multitasking because this is a one-handed wallet so i like this wallet a lot maybe you guys will maybe you guys won't for me i think this definitely works i, I definitely think for everybody else it works Every single person that I've talked to and I've shown this to likes it and they think it's a great idea and it definitely does make your pocket a lot lighter. This wallet itself is a lot lighter and slimmer than anything else so you're definitely going to have a lot more pocket room and everybody really likes it. I like it. Maybe you will. I know I definitely would prefer this over any other wallet and in fact I'm going to keep using this. I actually really like this so I'm going to keep using this and maybe I'll do an update video as to whether or not I like it in the future. I mean, right now, I think I'm going to keep using this, and I think I'm still going to like it two years down the road. I don't know if I'll keep using it two years down the road, but I think if I did, I'd still like it because it's so simple. It's very simple technology. However, it's so effective. So, yeah, I really like it. So, thank you so much to Mark and uh, Chris for sending this out to me. They overnighted it to me, and that was pretty awesome. So, this wallet is awesome. Hopefully, they will keep revamping it and making it even cooler although i don't even know how to make this thing cooler because it's already epic but you know what i'm saying so it's pretty awesome and i definitely think they did a really good job so you guys are pretty awesome so yeah so i will have a link for the holton designs group and the kickstarter campaign down in the description down below if you guys want to go check that out and uh yeah rate comment and subscribe